It's been a staple of wildlife documentaries and social media alike. The opossum, seemingly lifeless, sprawled out on the ground, just a classic case of playing possum. But contrary to popular belief, opossums aren't staging a dramatic play of their own demise. They enter a state called tonic immobility, which is a physiological response to extreme stress. And they have no conscious control over this. It's like they're slipping into a stress-induced snooze session. The possum's heart rate slows down, breathing becomes shallow, and they obviously look dead. Biologists believe this response is linked to a predator's instinct to release prey that's seemingly lifeless. Kind of like a, yuck, this isn't appetizing anymore reaction. In a similar perspective, if you are threatened by a grizzly bear, you are supposed to play dead by laying flat on your stomach with your hands clasped behind your neck to get them uninterested. When a possum becomes involuntarily immobilized, it can take them anywhere from a few minutes to a few hours to start moving again. A publication in Clinical Autonomic Research hypothesized that our ancestors may have had a similar response to threats during Paleolithic times, developing a fainting response to fear as a survival strategy. Fainting triggered by fear security activation had an evolutionary advantage in a similar way of trying not to get eaten by appearing dead. All right, back to possums. Although they seem like some mutated rat, they're pretty unique animals. They're the only marsupials found in the US, and they're really good at eating ticks. Researchers at the Cary Institute for Ecosystem Studies discover that opossums can eat as many as 5,000 ticks during one season. Besides for minimizing the creepy crawlers we find on ourselves while hiking, this also helps slow the spread of Lyme disease. They also could be the key to save you from a deadly snake bite. In a fascinating twist, these creatures boast immunity to the venom of almost every snake inhabiting their natural territory. And yes, that does include even rattlesnakes, with the sole exception being the elusive coral snake. And if that's not amazing on its own, they also rarely get rabies. As marsupials, possums have a lower body temperature than most other mammals, so their bodies don't provide a habitable environment for the virus. And you've probably noticed I've gone back and forth calling them opossums and possums. I promise I'm not trying to trick you. Here in the US, opossum and possum describe the same animal, and both pronunciations are accepted. But if you're across the globe in Australia, using the shortened word possum refers to a completely different order of animals. So next time you come across an opossum sprawled out on the ground, remember, it's not auditioning for the latest possum soap opera, but it's just having a moment. Scripps News, Tanner Saul.